Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so, some of this this might have gone under the radar for some people, even though it appears in the news. Uh, you get a prompt when you load the game up for new events. But I actually legitimately saw people on Twitter saying they forgot that this was even coming out. So we have the EZA for Int Prime Battle Vegeta. Um, obviously with everything going on at the moment, like Superhero being released, uh, the Cell Max event, Worldwide Download Celebration is like less than a week away from starting. It's understandable that this guy kind of got lost in the, uh, in the sweep of all the hype, but we do have the EZA for Int Prime Battle Vegeta. Mine is full level 10 links, obviously the, one of the main benefits we still have for Global for Foresight is uh, when these EZAs get announced on JP, I just immediately start link leveling them so that they're ready for global. Haven't given him any skill orbs. I don't know if I'll use him much after this showcase. I guess we'll have to wait and see how he does. Um, but usually after a unit gets an EZA, even though we can read their kit, I like to actually use them a bit first before I decide what I want to do with their um, hidden potential and stuff, right? So in terms of his super attacks, his, eight, his 12 key raises attack and defense for one turn, does colossal damage. His 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and does mega colossal damage. So that is a really good super attack effect. And obviously if he gets an additional, you're getting that extra raise as well. So that could be pretty good for him defense wise. Uh, his passive is attack 50% and defense 70. He gets an additional 70% defense when HP is 50% or more. So this is the kind of thing that makes him a bit risky for more difficult content. Because if you're starting the turn at 50% uh, or sorry, below 50% HP, you're missing out on 70% defense, which is unfortunate. So he gets key plus one with each attack performed up to five. He gets an additional attack 50% and launches two additional normal attacks, each of which has a rare chance of becoming a super. I think rare chance is like 10, is it like 15 or 20, something like that? Not great, uh, of becoming a super for four turns after receiving an attack. So he has to take a hit, then this procs, extra attack and the two additionals for four turns. So once it's gone off, you obviously don't need to like... You're not forced to put him in slot one or anything like that. And the good thing about these units that get guaranteed additional attacks is that you can then potentially get the hidden potential additional as well. So you can see here we have just under 200k defense on turn one. We're on the 200% Margin Vegeta lead team because obviously he's on Vegeta family and Gifted Warriors. So to be fair, just under 200k defense. That's not too bad. We are getting the support from this Trunks uh, who for non-crossover units is giving, what, 25%. So, not bad. This won't be his best rotation then. We need to see him with Xeno Vegeta. Now, the one thing I will say straight away on turn one is he does have key issues. One of his best linking partners is this Super Vegeta. They share five links. But Shattering the Limit is one of his key links. He does not have Prepared for Battle, which is unfortunate. And then Royal Lineage is... I know it was one key. Does it go up to two at level 10? It does go up to two, so that is good. But that means you could potentially struggle with to 18 key with him on the first turn. We got very lucky that we literally have eight orbs here. Because remember, this is with a support unit that's giving him extra key as well. Um, we've only just managed to get the 18 key super on turn one. But this is a very good start for the video. This is a great turn one rotation for him because we can get hit in slot one. So now we're getting our full buff. Five million. It's actually not too bad. I, I'm not sure what I was really expecting, but that's honestly not too bad when you consider the fact that he can then also do multiple extra attacks. I mean, there you go. That rare chance, that's his first additional from his passive, and it converted into a super attack straight away. And the second one, did, oh, wow. <laughs> what a first turn. I mean, Vegeta definitely trying to impress. So you got to remember, he had almost 200k defense. Then he gets a 50% raise from his first super attack effect, greatly raises. And then he did two additional supers, both of which were a 30% raise. Now, obviously, the way that that's all calculated is weird sometimes. Um, I'm still, even to this day, the number of times people have like explained it to me in the comments, the way raising a unit's defense works when there's support on the rotation and stuff like that because some it's not as simple as the number you see on the screen when you look at the menu add 50 percent to that because support units can throw that off maybe one day i'll truly learn <laughs> you never know but basically what that means is that a bare minimum after the double supers he would have been over 300k defense 
Because you're getting the 50% raise when you're at 200. Obviously, that's not going to be a full-on 100%, uh, like 100k raise. And then the two extra 30s, he probably was at like 400k defense. Which is pretty good. But then, of course, one thing I saw somebody say on stream last night was the fact that, obviously, he um, is com has come out at this time. He is an int unit. Does Would he be good for cell max? And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to guess that the answer to that is going to be no. Um, because, firstly, the fact that we mentioned right at the beginning of the video, um, when you start the turn below 50% HP, you're... Um, going to lose a chunk of your defense which is really not good and then even on that turn we wouldn't obviously want to put him in slot one against cell max but let's say he'd been hit the turn previous so he's going to have his buff of course he got an additional one damn it uh of course he's going to have his buff so he's going to get his extra attacks even on that turn that we just saw where he triple supered uh 400k defense against cell max even for an int unit is not a lot um he's still getting blasted by a super now as a free to play option could he be good? I mean, you got to remember, this is a 200% leader skill. This is the only 200% lead he's on, I believe, at the moment on Global, right? So, you'd have to run this team. And um, I actually have, I posted the screenshot last night, but you guys should stay tuned for that. I'm, I, get, I don't know why I'm so focused on what orbs I should be getting here. This I don't care about this rotation. Um, a little bit after this video goes up, I am putting up the run from the stream last night. I did beat the Cell Max event finally with double uh, in March and Vegeta leads. Uh, both March and Vegeta's were only 55%. It was a crazy run. We got some very good luck and some bad luck. It was a crazy run. It was great fun live on stream to do that. So that's going to come out later. But judging by how that went, and like I say, you guys are going to see it. That's why I bring it up. But like... That run would not have been made any easier by switching out one of the units for this Vegeta, is basically what I'm trying to get at here. So, this is the only team where he's getting a 200% leader skill, and he definitely wouldn't have been a huge benefit in that run. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, where he really could be the best. Um, he gets his buff for four turns, right? So he should still have it now, because this is the fourth turn. Um, so we can go ahead and get these... What's his defense like here with no support? 176k. But remember, that is with us staying above the 50% HP threshold. If you drop below that 50%, even normal attacks from Cell Max, this guy's going to be taking a ton of damage. Like that support definitely did a lot of extra work for him because, you know, getting an attack on super buff works really nicely with um, support units. Did he have his thing active? I guess maybe he didn't then, right? Because he did one additional attack and it wasn't a super. Because it was turn one he got hit. So for four turns, I guess it's what one... It counts turn one. So turn one, two, three, four. And then turn five he doesn't have it anymore. Okay. So now he has it active again. Um, I don't know if it was all changed across the board. I remember I saw people talking about the change recently. Or at least or it was something that was learned from the database that people didn't know or something like that. But when a unit says, like, they have this part of their passive active for four turns, that includes the turns that they're not on. So that's why his um, that's why his passive wasn't active there and we didn't get the extra attacks. Because technically that was turn five uh, from when he took that first hit. So that is something you obviously have to be aware of. Um, there's a few units in the game like this, uh, some of which I do like using, but sometimes it can be very confusing, where you really have to make sure you're paying attention to, like, the number of turns that have passed since a particular thing has happened, right? Like, part of the passive being active or something like that. Um, units that only stack on their super for, like, three or five turns or something like that, you have to be very careful when you get to the turn where that runs out and has reset because a lot of units can get caught when stuff like that happens. So, something to be aware of. Uh, we above 50% still here? Yes. Alright, so we're back to our what we had on our starting rotation. We've got a lot of int orbs here, so we can get the full 24 key super. So, that is pretty good. Um, his defense should still be the 190. Yeah, 194k. Now, the problem is, if we take a super from God Vegeta here, I feel like we probably die... Uh, let me just use a Sensu Bean and we'll see what happens. If we die, we die. We can come back in, but, um, I don't want to use a defensive item like the Whis. I want to see how much he would take if he is going to get supered here. 
Because does he tank normals for double digits? He does not. So, interesting. Now, I think his best usage, again, in this case there, and that's almost a 6 mil attack stat, that's pretty good. I think his best usage is going to be um, definitely not in slot 1, right? Because once he's gotten his super attacks off, his defense is not going to be too bad. But you don't want to take that risk in slot 1. And I guess that's another problem as, with him as well. When we look at his link partners, right? So I've got him linked up with Super Vegeta for this video. Who, again, when it comes to more difficult content, not the best slot one unit. Yeah, he took 287k after the one super. So, I mean, he's an easy ALR, but he's also a free-to-play unit. So you kind of have to balance, like, where, like, you know, if, if a summonable LR rainbow level 10 links was taking that much damage in the vegeta event we would probably be disappointed but he is a free to play lr so is a bit different but yeah his best link partners are like super vegeta who's not a great slot one unit then you've got the physical angel super saiyan 2 vegeta who's starting to age out a little bit and really needs to be run with a boo saga goku in order for him to actually be really good so he's not the ideal link partner for him agl margin vegeta who obviously also not particularly a great unit these days, uh, especially for difficult content. Uh, he does link up, actually. He shares five links with the physical Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, who's going to get an easy A with the Hero Celebration this year. So if he actually becomes a really good slot 1 unit, then that could be a pretty solid rotation, having him in slot 1 and then this Vegeta in slot 2. Um, and then a couple of the phases of transforming Vegeta he links up well with, but he's another unit that still really needs an easy A. In terms of four links, good link partners are like the GT Vegeta, the GT Super Saiyan 1, the physical Xeno Vegeta who's on the team, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, who obviously as long as he does guard, is a good slot 1 unit, so you could run like... Super Saiyan Trunks in slot 1, or Super Saiyan 3 Trunks slot 1, this Vegeta slot 2, and then bring other units in slot 3 who are going to potentially be proccing that. Um... Are we... Oh, we are below 50%, just. Look at that, we are just below 50%. So you can see the difference. We have Xeno Vegeta on rotation, who's giving 40% support. So this should, in theory, should be his best turn. He should be over 200k defense at the start of the turn if he had his full passive active. But as you can see, because we are below 50% HP, we only have 154k. So, we're going to get the Dokon attack here as well, which is unfortunate. Um, especially because it's on this final phase. But we'll go ahead and do this. Um, we'll just finish him off here. Hopefully he doesn't super in slot 1, because I think we would actually die. But, in fact, I'm pretty sure we would die. 51k. Yeah, see, if you drop below that 50% HP threshold and he loses that defense, it's GG. And when it comes to the most difficult content in the game, Red Zone, Cell Max, like, the chances of him coming onto rotation and you being at 50% or, sorry, below 50%, because the way his passive is worded is 50% or above. So if you happen to be on exactly 50%, you will still get it. So if you're going onto the next turn at 49.9% HP or less, against Cell Max or like Broly or something like that, you are going to have a bad time. So, that is unfortunate. Uh, we get the Dokon attacks, we get the full heal. Uh, can we get six orbs for you? No. It's not super important though on this rotation. Margin Vegeta, as long as you have the um, Trunks on the team, is obviously still pretty solid. This Tech Vegeta could potentially take a fair bit of damage though, if he's uh, he eats a super. We didn't get enough defense for his guard. But yeah, so Prime Battle Vegeta, I mean, the numbers that he's put out in terms of offense are not terrible. I mean, we got that crazy first turn where he really did just go all out with the uh, both of those attacks from his passive converting into super attacks, which is actually pretty crazy. If I bring the wiki up in the background here, I can actually double check what his... Um what that rare chance is so let's see prime battle vegeta since i'm not really bothered about what's happening on this turn uh extreme z awakened has a rare chance uh what is this rare chance Fifteen percent okay Fifteen percent so we got lucky enough in that first turn that 15 percent chance for his additional normal attack to become a super happened both times and he just straight up triple supered that was uh obviously really really good did he finish him off with that attack as well i can't remember because we would have gotten the um we would have gotten the 
additional from the hidden potential Looks system like as well, I'm a possibly. Too much for you to handle now, aren't I? I am super Which obviously Vegeta. could have just been a normal attack, but if that was a super attack as well, remember that all of those additional supers that are his 12 key are all giving him that extra 30% um, defensive raise. So getting the quad super turn would be pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, again, we got no support. Uh, we are on turn 11. So the thing with these passives when they stay active for four turns is they don't get reset midway through. So once he gets hit once, he has his passive uh, where he gets the extra attack for four turns. If you get hit on the next turn, it doesn't then reset and it's four turns from there. It's still four turns from when you took the original hit. As far as I know, unless that's been changed. Um, so, is his one still active here? 4.8 without support suggests that it is. Because he gets that extra bit of attack as well. And then, yeah, he's doing the normal attack. So, it is. <laughs> Not transverting into supers. But we did get the additional from the hidden potential this time. And get an additional super. So, that is good. Uh, and a crit as well. Not bad damage. And then, will Martian Vegeta finish this phase off? I guess, hopefully not, because then we can just one-shot it and go on to the last phase. Um, okay, good. Because, yeah, AGL Vegeta, oof, this is going to be an interesting one, because we would ideally want to put the Int Vegeta in slot one so that he can get the um, get the buff, right? Because it's probably reset now, because we're going to be on turn 13. So it should have reset, I believe. Um, now, the problem with that, of course, is if this Vegeta takes the final flash in slot one, then we are dead. <laughs> now, we do have over 50% HP. So, going into the next turn, we are going to have the full passive active. Um, do we have support? I think we do, yeah. Because we have two supports and we had no support on the last turn. So, he is going to have support on this rotation. Uh, Tech, Marjin Vegeta. I'm going to come in and finish off Blue Vegeta here. And we'll see how our boy does. We'll put him in slot one to make sure we get that reactivation of his passive. If he gets hit with the final flash, then we just die. And it is what it is. So, I guess we will have to wait and see what's going to transpire. Imagine if there's no attacks in slot 1. Which is, of course, the other downside to units like this. Where, once that part of his passive has reset, you need him to get hit in slot 1 in order to get that full potential active. Um, but there might not be any attacks in slot 1. Also, we don't have great key on this turn. We can at least get the 18 key super, though, so that's good. Um, and then, of course, Super Vegeta or Trunks, either of them could get blasted with the final flash here and we die. So, all right, no slot one. Good. 40k on the normal attack. And then we're at 5 million attack stat here. So, can we get the additional supers on this turn? Give him the big boy defense. All right, first one, no. Second one, no. Hidden potential? Oh, no. So, he goes to taking double digit damage, which is cool. But... Right, doesn't eat the final flash. I mean, if Vegeta just supers either of the other two this turn, he's dead. So, I mean, Prime Battle Vegeta, there you go. Rainbow, full level 10 links on a 200% team. As I mentioned earlier, this is obviously his only 200% team at the moment. So, if you're running him on a different team, he's going to be even worse than this. So, whilst he's not terrible... I mean, yeah, that was un that's understandable. While he's not terrible, I definitely don't think he's that crazy. If you haven't farmed him up yet, I feel like there's no major rush to do it. Although he may be needed for a future Prime Battle LR EZA. So if you find yourself with nothing to do, then obviously do the grind. But let me know what you guys think of him down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.